here we come to the freight elevator at the Owen Fine Arts Center at Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas. This is also known as the Medal of the Art. Anyways, this is a vintage old Otis from 1967. Originally, you do have to have a key. I mean, you have to have a key to call it, but with the elevators on the floor, you can directly open the door. So let's open it up. And you also, originally, you do, you originally had to have a key to like, turn it on because this elevator originally used to not work without a key but now you don't need a key anymore I was just uh, told by somebody just today so I finally have access to filming this amazing old piece of beauty all right let's close the door <laughs> Scoundrelgy, listen to the motor. All right, we're going to close the door before we go. You should view the fixtures. Since we have light, there's your phone, fire service, and your Otis elevator capacity plate. I'm not gonna film the passenger elevator because I already recorded it last year ago and it's still original as of today. It's still original. So let's close it up. Go to two, listen to the motor. Love the motor on this elevator. Let's see if the rear side can open. Oh, you have the. It's this one right here. That's weird. Um, for some reason, the the two button didn't work. When in reality, it's literally on the uh, on on the floor. I don't know why it didn't open when I push this, but when I push the rear button, it opens up. All right, we're gonna close both the doors up. Oh, it's hard for me to uh, stretch my finger like this. All right, oh, my camera just lost the focus. All right, let's get on to G. I absolutely love this elevator. I'm not gonna open the rear door anymore for the second trip. I'm so glad that the Owen Arts Center staff let me use this elevator for my video. This, especially being an old vintage Otis, this is awesome. I wanna say a huge thank you to the Owen Art Center staff for letting me record this elevator and for letting me ride. Not only letting me film this, but even letting me ride this elevator as well. So we will take for one more ride and then we're gonna end the video on this floor right here. But before we do, listen to the relay. Is that, is that just joyfully satisfying? All right, let's close the door and we'll take it for one more ride. All right, 
Up to two. Here we go. Oh, you have to hold it. Oh, I love the motor starting up. Get a cabby up here. This is a nice elevator. This thing's beautiful. These are your fixtures. All right, we're gonna close the door and we're gonna end the video on the R level this time. All right, down the arm and there. Close the door up as a common courtesy. All right, there it goes, and that's it. All right, I'm recording. Go ahead and open it up. This is epic. Unfortunately, the passenger elevator is broken. Found this thing on the second floor. All right, these are your fixtures. Let me take a look at these two. Nice. This reminds me of one at the U of A a little bit. Send out to G. Oh, you have to hold hold it in for a sec. There we go. Oh, I literally saw that teeth right on that up. Right on the first floor door. I gotta see that going up. You saw a lot? Oh, uh, you'll see. A teeth figure. Go into the store. RBC? Oh, uh, no, it's, it's that one. Okay. what I was telling you about. Yeah. I... <laughs> I'm gonna get off that G. You can keep riding how Times you want. Sure, no problem.
All right, you can go ahead and close the door up. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and end the video up on one with the big teeth figure. Now before I go, listen to the relay. Epic. Alright, let's close it up and end it at one. And here is a much more detailed caveat of this elevator with the light on. An old vintage Otis. This is awesome. Wow. I love that capacity plate. Unfortunately, the passenger elevator is broken, so this is the only one that works today, but I'm so glad I could gotten here. This is so worth filming. I love this elevator. And there's your ADA compliant phone. Well, anyways, this is your detailed video of this old vintage Otis freight elevator from 1967. Normally, I watch the door close filming from the outside, but today I'm gonna be doing a little different just only for this video. As you saw the T figure, we're actually gonna be ending the video from inside the elevator. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video and I feel like this freight elevator monster is gonna eat me alive. Nah, it's not. I'm just kidding. But anyways, in all seriousness, thanks for watching and that'll be it.